Yes, guys, this video is not clickbait. I'm not trying to get you guys to watch anything. Um, this is actually a serious problem that is going to affect iPhone 5 and 5C users. So if you guys want to watch till the very end, I would highly recommend it for the best for your iPhone 5 or 5C. Anyway, guys, it's APR2K Productions here. And today we're going to be talking about a problem with the iPhone 5 and 5C. So this problem... Um, is going to affect devices anywhere from iOS 10.0 to iOS 10.3.3. If you're on iOS 10.3.4 already, you're good. But essentially, Apple is going to be ending support for all of these versions um, on things like the App Store, GPS, iTunes Store, and iCloud. So these phones are not going to be any use on any of these services unless you update to iOS 10.3.4 by November 3rd. Now, um, on November 3rd, they're actually going to disable over-the-air updates. So what that means is you will have to back up and restore your iPhone 5 to iOS 10.3.4 through iTunes, and there is no other way to update it after November 3rd. So if you're running anything older than iOS 10.3.4 on an iPhone 5, um, any version of iOS 10 at least, you're going to want to update right now. Um, as sad as this is, um, it's unfortunate we're going to put every iPhone 5 on the latest version. Obviously, iOS 6 ones, people are going to keep those. iOS 7, 8, people are going to keep those. But any on iOS 10 are going to get updated. Now this is going to screw over the used iPhone market too, because a lot of these, um, if you buy an iPhone 5 after November 3rd, there's going to be a good chance that your iPhone 5 will come on iOS 10.3.3, as that was the last update for a couple of years. So if you get one of those, you're going to have to update and restore through iTunes, which is just a pain in the butt and just not even... This is frustrating. Now the iPhone 4S also got 9.3.6 recently, but I've had no such issues on the iPhone 4S. I've never gotten a warning about it or anything, so if you have an iPhone 4S, you're good. Don't worry about it. But if you have an iPhone 5 or 5C, update immediately. Now, I do not have an iPhone 5C. I am looking to get one pretty soon here, but currently I do not have one, so... Um, I don't know for a fact that this is affecting the iPhone 5C. It says iPhone 5 up here, but that could mean 5C as well, and it likely does, as these phones are basically the same internally. Um, so I don't know about that, but yeah, guys, iPhone 5, if you have one, update to iOS 10.3.4 now, Unless you're running a rare version, then I'd say just stay on whatever version that is because there's no reason to update from a, a really rare iOS version. Um, and it just sucks because normally I like to keep my devices on older firmwares just because they run better on older firmwares. You know, uh, this 6S right here runs incredibly well on iOS 10.3.3. By the way, I've gotten nothing on this one either, so I'm pretty sure it's just the iPhone 5 and not other phones running 10.3.3. So yeah, this phone is good. This phone's good to go. I've had nothing wrong with it. This one I've gotten the messages and stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I've rambled on about this too much now. Um, I hope you guys uh, found this useful and I hope none of you guys have to deal with restoring through iTunes just to get your phone to work after November 3rd. Again, update right away. Thank you guys very much for watching, and as always, peace out. So as you can see right there, you're not going to be able to browse the web once uh, this happens on November 3rd. Um, and I just thought of this. Imagine if like old granny has an iPhone 5 or 5C. It's running an older iOS version because she just doesn't update it because she doesn't know how to. And she goes to turn on her phone one day, and all of a sudden nothing's working. And she goes to look it up, but she can't even do that because the stupid web browser doesn't work. Congrats, Apple. Congrats. I, I don't even have words.
I hope they do not make me update this. I hope they don't screw this phone in the process because that would just really piss me off royally um, if they screwed my iPhone 6s. Alright guys, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, enjoy whatever phone you're using. Even if it's an iPhone 5 that Apple screwed. Oh, and finally, iPad 4 users, join this party that you weren't invited to and didn't even want to go to. Just, just join it, because, uh, you're part of it, too.